This brief video is a video of one of our GCSE case studies of the Boss Castle flood, flood in 2004 for the global hazards topic. So how does it link to the syllabus? The Boss Castle flood is your example of a flash flooding natural weather hazard. It is your example of a UK based weather hazard event. And so the question in the exam will either ask you for a flash flooding event or a tropical storm event, and you will use Boss Castle as your flash flooding natural weather hazard, or it will ask you for a UK based natural weather hazard event. And again, this is your example of that. Boss Castle is found in the southwest of England in the county of Cornwall. It is found west of London. So a flash flood is when lots of water suddenly flows into a river, causing it to overflow its banks. Our case study for this is in the village of Boss Castle on the north coast of Cornwall. It experienced a flash flood on the 16th of August 2004. And we are interested in the causes, the consequences and the responses to the flood. So what were the causes of the flood? As you can see in the map, the contour lines surrounding Boss Castle are very close together. And this means that the area surrounding Boss Castle is both high but also steep. Boss Castle sits at the bottom of the steep sided valley, as you can see in the second picture. And this means that there is high levels of surface runoff coming from the surrounding hills. In addition, Boss Castle is found at the confluence of three rivers. So this means that in Boss Castle, three rivers meet. On the sixth castle, three, there was a low, pre low pressure weather system that brought 75 millimetres of rain. This is the amount normally found in a month, but 75 millimetres of rain fell in just two hours. The low pressure system brought warm, moist air from the Atlantic Ocean. The air mass cooled as it rose above the land, as we just talked about the high relief around Boss Castle, and this caused thunderstorms and intense rainfall. In addition, the old bridge in the village had a low arch over a very narrow channel, and this made the flooding worse, as trees and vehicles became trapped under the bridge, forming a dam. And this can be seen in the image on the bottom right of the screen. So there were significant economic effects from the Boss Castle flood. 58 properties, four businesses, roads and bridges were damaged or destroyed. In addition, due to the car park flooding, 50 cars were washed out to sea. And this led to some environmental pollution in the surrounding area. After the floods, the number of tourists dropped significantly. The village is a very popular tourist destination and 90% of the local economy relies on tourism. In addition, there were some social effects of the flood. One person was seriously injured and some residents suffered uh, due to stress relating to the floods themselves and insurance claims. So there was a successful short term response to the flood, which meant that the social effects were reasonably limited. Emergency services quickly responded to the flood in Boss Castle and around 100 people were airlifted to safety by seven helicopters. The local GP surgery was set up as the headquarters for the emergency operations and residents and tourists that were flooded out of their accommodation were looked after in local accommodation and the village hall. Homes, businesses and roads were eventually rebuilt and there was a long term flood defence scheme that opened in 2008 costing £10 million and this included um, raising the car park in Boss Castle to stop the river from bursting its banks so easily as the river channel was deepened. The bridge was rebuilt with a higher arch so that debris was less likely to dam the river and the river itself was made wider and deeper so that it can accommodate more water. So what would a question look like in an exam for this case study? So here you can see I've got evaluate the responses to your chosen UK based natural weather hazard and it's worth six marks. So you can see here it's the UK based weather event. So we're going to be talking about the Boss Castle flood.
and the structure, as we should know, for a six mark question is peed, peed. So we're going to have one paragraph on a response and how effective it was, and then another paragraph on a different response and how effective it is. Now, this is an evaluate question. Therefore, we're looking for our AO2 marks. And if we're trying to get these highest marks for evaluation, we want to be thinking about how effective is it in the short term, the long term, and who is being helped. Now, what you may want to do at this point is stop the video and have a go at this question. And in a moment, I will go through a model paragraph. OK, so here is a model paragraph for this question. So you can see for the points I've gone, one response to the Boscastle flash flood was the construction of a £10 million flood defence scheme. Evidence, this involved widening and deepening the river channel and the rising of an arch of the bridge. The aim of this was to improve the flow of the river and increase the capacity of the river channel itself to reduce the risk of flooding in the future. So here I've given examples of what the scheme was in my evidence, what exactly happened under that scheme. And then I've explained why that would help Boscastle in the future. Then to develop, this was an effective scheme as it was designed to reduce flooding in the long term and consider the causes of the original flood in 2004. However, it took four years to be constructed and therefore did not help in the short term. So here I've got my evaluation marks because I've talked about both the short and the long term in my answer. If you'd like to have a go at this question, we'd really recommend it. Have a go at the next paragraph on a different response and tell us how effective it is and then give that to your geography teacher and they will mark it.